X marks the spot. Let me explain. Better yet, let me show you. As always, clean your lens. instead of just going forward or backward like this right just moving backward you kind of want to like roll have the hyperlapse do some kind of a roll see this this looks like a much better and you're kind of introducing something as you're going along the way so bam so that's you see that that's the kind of a goal with the water and everything in there that's my vision of the hyperlapse all right so we're going to click at the top right here to select our mode we come down to hyperlapse click on hyperlapse we're going to go down to waypoints so now that i've selected waypoints i will select this little menu that comes down but before i even do that i want to expose my shot now i initially took off with an nd16 i swapped it out for an nd64 i'm using the pgy tech brand uh, filters here these are my favorite because yeah even though the variable filters are nice i believe that dedicated individual filters just give a better overall image unless i'm doing something run and gun and hyperlapse is not run and gun let's twist over here this is going to be our starting point like right here i don't want to expose too much of the highway and everything I'll come down a little bit if I can, so I can get the cars moving there. There you go, beautiful. I like that nice start. You got the city in the background, people moving. We'll see how that goes. So I'll switch over from uh, auto to manual in the bottom right there, see auto manual. As I swing more this way, I'm going more into the sun. You see it's gonna get brighter as I swing. So, this, so maybe I'll just keep it at 1 8 of a shutter speed and see how that works. Let's go to 1 8. We're gonna work that or one point one fifth. Now let's go in between the two right here. Good, I've got my exposure at 0, 0.00. And I'll click down where it says set waypoint there on the screen and bam, that's my first waypoint. That is my first waypoint. So what I'm gonna do now, I want this angle. This is the angle that I want for my second waypoint. So I swing into my next angle. Bam, as you can see, I swing into my next angle. Plus, I want the gimbal uh, probably, I don't know, let's see. Now that I've swung into my point, I'm going to kind of fly it out, fly it out, fly it out, fly it out. Now, also go higher. Let's just go higher. How about this? Go higher. Higher gives you a nicer perspective, right? Look at this. Look at this. This maximum is beautiful. Altitude right? Well, I'm a maximum altitude here is 196, 200, but that it is what it is. I'll look down just a tad. I want more water, right? I'll mark that as my second high, um, waypoint. Bang. Beautiful. So now I want more of the water. I'm leaning out of the traffic more and I'm kind of going into the water. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of flying what I'm looking for. Look at this. I'm kind of flying what I'm looking for. Bam, now we introduce these other buildings over here. How about this? We introduce this. So let's mark this as our third, our third waypoint. Now you can do up to 45 waypoints. This is fanatical, like you can do 45 waypoints, but let's mark this as our third. Let's come over a little bit, scroll a little bit, bang. No, right here, bang, keep that big building in. Bam, that's our third. Now what I wanna do to finish this off is kind of leave the city out of this and scroll over to this island here, right? Scroll over to this island, and this island has, wow, this island looks pretty nifty, but I want to move back from this island a little bit. I want to stretch back. Let's stretch back a little bit. I want to catch the lighthouse. There's a lighthouse at the end here. Bam, how about that? How about that? I want to catch that lighthouse, guys. Bam, there is the lighthouse right there. Bam, how about that, All right? But I don't wanna swing so much, but I wanna catch the lighthouse and a little bit of the city and a little bit of Queens all wrapped into one shot. So this is like perfect for me. This is beautiful. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And this is my third 
and final point. Bam. Or I should say my fourth point. There we go. So I've got four points. Now I'm going to hit it at the, at the middle left here where it says camera rotation angle. Look to the left of that. There's just a little save button, right? Now I can save this. Now, as you can see, my task library, I've been saving a ton of stuff. I'm going to name this one YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, hyperlapse, Y-P-E-E-R, hyper, day, and night beautiful save it bam there you go the settings here normal sequence means it's uh, you can change it from normal to reverse i'm going to start normal you want your frame set to two seconds right that's important you want your frame set every two seconds and that means that the camera takes a photo every two seconds the length of the video should be at least 10 seconds so let's set that to 10 seconds now that i have my settings all right i'm going to come back load up a fresh brand new battery go out back As there you can see 98 percent i swap the battery i go back into hyperlapse mode and i go down to waypoints and i go into my little task library here bam and i hit youtube hyperlapse day and night let's load it up oh my gosh look at look at boats moving i'm missing this okay i'm talking too much just hit go and uh aircraft is heading to the first waypoint i'll let it head to the first waypoint and that's it it pretty much does the rest for you I have got a boat in there, but all oh, the boats leaving. Don't leave, don't leave. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, right? <laughs> all right. But as you can see, I, it shows me the time, how much time I have left to complete the whole sequence. Six minutes, uh, roughly, and five seconds, somewhere like that. It shows a total of 250 photos, and I'm at 68, 69, yeah. Ideally, you want 300 photos, but yeah, you know, this is a good start. All right, so far, so good. What's also nifty about this, you can see yourself on the map as well with your waypoints as you're going through the mission. That's pretty cool. Video synthesis completed. Now, just for fun, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go instead of normal sequence, which is start all the way at the city and work its way back as I have 58% battery. I know I have enough battery to make it back. I'll reverse it and just hit go. The aircraft is heading to the first waypoint. It's gonna shoot the hyperlapse and reverse. Basically, that's what it's gonna do. So yeah, so I like to do this if I have battery life because you just never know which one is gonna look better. If you want to get a really nice hyperlapse, try not to do it on a windy day. Ideally, if you can come on a day that is uh, has clouds, then guess what? Your hyperlapse will pop. If you come on a day when there's people and cars and boats in the water, right? Not a day like today. It's kind of the worst day to be doing this. But guess what? When I save this hyperlapse, I can always come back. I can come back when the sun is at setting. I can come up when the sun is rising. I can come back in the evening. I can come back in the morning. And most of all, I can come back in the night. I can come in different seasons. I can come in the fall. I can come in the spring. I can come in the winter. I can come in the summer and create a whole beautiful hyperlapse of this whole thing. I'm just planning the route. Let's just hit the play button right now. Bang, we can see exactly what we have. We have both hyperlapses. Uh, let's look at this one. We're going to download it. I think it'll actually download faster if you, you know, land. But I'm right there. And I need to kill the battery, so why not? <laughs> filters. You do not use filters in the night. And of course, X marks the spot.
let's switch our camera to manual. Very important. Let's go back to our shutter. Our shutter should be one fourth in order to get that nice motion blur. Our ISO or exposure, we're gonna raise that up probably to 6400. That's gonna be too bright. 3200, nah. I think 1600 is a sweet spot. Let's go to eight and see how it looks. Uh, eight doesn't look too bad actually. I think we can pull some highlights out of eight, but I think 16 is best. Let's go to eight. We can always brighten it up at 800. Let's hit play. We've got everything set. Oh, here we go. Two second intervals. And on three, two, one. The aircraft is heading to the first waypoint. Let's go fly to the first waypoint and hopefully we can get both done. We can get a uh, forward sequence and a reverse sequence. Match it up and see what we can come up with. Of course, the drone has to be on for you to download. Now that it's downloaded, we can literally slip your phone out, disconnect it, power off your controller, and power off your drone. You don't need them anymore. Let's go into the album. And let's start with what we downloaded from the day. Here we go. Now at the bottom right, you see this little scissors icon. Let's hit that scissors icon. And that's going to take us to the DJI Fly App Editor, where we can edit the videos. See this plus yellow box at the bottom right here? Just click that and we can add the video. Add. We're going to add that one. So now we have our day in tonight. So now we're going to add some music because music is important. So just hit the music icon. Tap at the bottom where it says tap to add music. Tap that. All right, let's hear some music. Just hit the play. Nope. Groove train maybe. Cross the street. Precision focus. Let's use this one, and you can use whichever one you want. Bam, so we've added that into the song. Now we've got to figure out where's going to be our cut point. Halfway will be about here, where this white building ends. Bam, so look, where this other building is right there, bam. See to the left of the screen there, where that white building on the left is? That's where I'm going to cut right there. So let's go over to our thing. And we're gonna cut right there. Bang, we're gonna cut that. And the rest here, we're gonna delete this, right? Let's scroll down to the bottom, hit delete. Now that's gone. Now where am I gonna start the other one? Like halfway to? Right where that building is. Remember where that building is? Right there, look to the left. That same building is like right. Ta -da. Get it perfect widen out the clip so you can do like precision movements let's go right there if i remember correctly right at the top of that building and we shall cut right there let's cut where's the little cut at the top there cut bam now before i delete this chunk here in the middle let me make sure that's exactly where i cut it from Yeah, I think so. Right about there. Right about there. So let's delete that piece. Bam. Let's look at the transition and see how it blends. It blends beautifully, right? It blends beautifully. Um, should we do a dissolve or a blur? Let's try a dissolve and see how that works. Right, let's try the dissolve. That's like a transition that blends the two clips together. That's beautiful, I love the dissolve. We can even take it a step further and add this piece in from the beginning here, the short clip at night. And then we can add that in and then we can add the other one in too. So we can play it back the other way just for fun. We're going back the other way, we're gonna cut where? Where are we gonna cut? Let's widen this out so we can precisely get our cut point. 
bam, look right there, slide over to the left, bam, there's the peak of the arch. Let's cut right there. Slide up here, cut, right? And then we'll take this out as we don't need it. Let's delete that piece in front, bam. Now we're gonna look for the same here, the peak of the bridge, the peak of the bridge, come on. Scroll back, it is right, a little bit more, a little bit more, bam, right there. Let's cut it right there, bam, delete this little piece here. Now I think we've got it perfectly. Let's hit on the transition. Let's do dissolve again. Now let's play it and see how well it came out, bam. Whoa, that happened so fast. Let's go again. Beautiful, I think we got it. I think we got it. May not be perfect, but you know, I'm just trying to show you the concept. Uh, fade the music a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do. Volume, fade out. There we go, bam, we're gonna fade out. Hit that, good. So it kind of ends off in a smooth note. We're gonna go back to the main uh, editing here. And we're gonna hit at the top right, see this little export button at the top right there, icon. Hit that, now we can only export up to 1080p. So we're gonna select 1080p and continue to generate the video. Now normally I would look at a video two, three times and touch it up some more, but this is just a demonstration. I really wanna to get to the laptop to show you how to you know, edit the raw file. So that's coming, let's hit done. It's saved to the mobile device. Let's hit done. Let's head over to the mobile device. Where is the mobile device? We'll go in our, let's hit back. Let's see if we got a new video there created somewhere up. Oh, there's something that says video. Bam, 17 seconds. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Not bad, not bad, into a day, into a night thing, not bad. Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or zooms head over to my patreon account donate a dollar become a patron and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones guys let's make this happen come on support me and help me support you